Hey friends! In today's video, I am sharing with you the unboxing of this Tombow VIP Club box that I ordered. This is the month of January's box, and I'm really excited because as of this recording, they do still have these um, in stock, so I hopefully will get this up quickly before they go out of stock, because usually by the time I get my videos up, they are out of stock of these boxes. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's inside the box, and then I will demonstrate these pens as well. So this first little handout I think is like a how to draw. I don't know that it's something that you trace over because it's shown like step by step. So if you traced over it, you probably would want to just trace over the like last one. So I think it's probably just like a how to to use as your reference. And there's some little doodles on one side and then there's folkligraphy on the other side. So usually those types of things are things that I don't use a ton to be perfectly honest. I make my own lettering worksheets and I do have a folkligraphy set. So I don't usually get too much use out of those, but the boxes are such a good deal because usually like one of the products will be almost the price of the whole box. So it's kind of like getting some extra freebies if I don't use every single one that's fine with me so the next thing is this little mini glue tape and I know that you can use these for of course like card making or for journaling but I just wanted to show you one little hack that I like to do with these if you are a letterer and you have like an Instagram or a YouTube where you are showing your lettering and you have that issue where like certain pens might not have a cap that holds them still so when you set them down they roll all over um, the color in markers that I use a lot are like this so I just put a little bit of this glue on like the widest part of the pen and you could use another type of double-sided tape or I've also used the glue dots but you just put it on there and then I like to kind of pat it with my finger so that it's not super super sticky because I don't want it to ruin my paper or my desktop or re be really hard to remove um, but then when you set it down there's just enough of a little like grip so that it doesn't roll and it kind of stays and then you can just with these ones I found that they were pretty easy to just wipe off and use my fingernail and kind of wipe off the little ex extra that is on the pen so that's just a little tip if you like to take pictures because it's super frustrating when you're trying to take photos and your pen's just rolling off the table and you finally get it all set up perfectly and then like one of them moves so if you have this tape hopefully that is helpful for you the next thing that is in this box is the washi tape, which I love washi tape. And the main reason I love washi tape is because, of course, it's bright and colorful and um, just kind of adds a little bit of a decorative element. But I like that it's repositionable. And you can see, I think with every single one that I put on this um, example, I kind of did them crooked and had to reposition them. And it works really easily and it doesn't tear your paper. At least I didn't have any issues with that. So I love that about washi tape. But I also like to use washi tape for hanging up like an art print if I don't want to put a frame up. And I also like to use it for just putting over my envelopes when I'm sending a letter or when I'm decorating gift wrap. I like to just wrap my presents in like a craft paper or a white plain wrapping paper and then put like some decorative elements over it like a handmade tag or washi tape and maybe some, um, what's that called, twine. And I just think it's a really cute and simple way to decorate your packages and make it kind of have a personal touch. So these are really cute and I especially love the rainbow ones. They're really cute. And so the last thing that I'm going to show you are the Twin Tone marker sets. Now it says new in rainbow colors. I have the Brights pack and the Pastels pack. I did think that they kind of looked a little bit similar to the Brights pack, but I haven't compared them side by side. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I have all of my Brights together because I really like to use um, my twin tone markers with like journaling or Bible journaling. And so I'll take them out of my office and I'm not always sure if I have the whole set together or not. But I did see, I think, a comment on Instagram where somebody from Tombow said that they were all brand new colors. So I think that it's safe to say that these are brand new colors that you can't get in other packs, but I will maybe show you some of the ones that I have and see kind of how they compare a little bit at the end of this video. On their website, it does say new twin tone marker set 12 pack rainbow. 12 new twin tone marker colors are here to complete your collection. So if you had to ask me, I would say that they're all brand new, but there might be some similarities between some of the other ones. If you have not tried Tombow Twin Tone Markers before, they have a bullet tip and then they have like a really fine tip as well and I will show you examples of writing with both of them. But these are good markers for faux calligraphy and also for monoline lettering so if you are into that or you like to use these in your journal, then you might like these markers. The journal that I'm testing these out in is one of my Archer and Olive journals 
and the pages in that journal are very, very thick, so there wasn't any bleeding or any ghosting really um, with these, but that's not to say with a very thin paper you might have that, especially ghosting for sure. You probably see through um, with some of these darker colors on like a Leuchtturm journal or something like that, but that is why I love the Archer and Olive journals because they're just so thick that you can write with a lot of different um, pens and not really see through. So. So I will give you a quick example of using just a couple of colors in my Leuchtturm journal and show you what it looks like on the other side, but if you are not wanting anything to bleed through, I would highly recommend these Archer and Olive journals because they have very thick paper. And here is just an example of a couple of the different pens that I have. Like I said, I'm not positive that the entire packs are in here. And I do have my brights and my pastels mixed together, so um, I'm not sure which go with which exactly. So that is what I got in my box for this month. I did purchase this myself. Um, like I said, as of doing this voiceover, you can still purchase these in the past. I know I've ordered them, and by the time I even got my box, they were sold out. So I know that can be frustrating, but I still think it's fun to show you guys what's inside. And if you are on the Tombow um, email list, you get the email, I think, the day before they go on sale to the public. So if you are worried about them selling out and you wanted to grab one, you can make sure that you're on your, their email list and then have an extra day to order. And you guys will have to let me know what you think about having a pink background instead of my white desktop. I have had a couple people recently say that the videos are kind of bright to look at with it being so white. So I am listening and I ordered a couple of different colored backdrops and Hopefully it's not too distracting, but I think that it kind of helps the screen not be so white because the only part of the screen that's white is my paper rather than like my whole desktop and then a bunch of bright pens. So let me know in the comments below if you even noticed or if you think that helps or if I should go back to just using my white desktop. I ordered a couple of different colors, so I might be experimenting over the next few videos here. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see what is in some of my other Tombow VIP Club boxes, I will um, link those below so that you can check out those videos. Otherwise, if you'd like to see more, you can follow me along on Instagram at howtohandletter. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.